hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to use the open zipline wizard to generate code for a token contract and how you can deploy this contract using the bmb chain test network so yeah if you are new to my channel i would like you to click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification button down there to get notified anytime i post new videos on this channel yes i remain your girl chinwe okonkwo yes and this is chi chain network stay tuned while we dive right into it open zipline has a really cool contracts wizard for generating the code for token contracts it generates code based on the input boxes you tick and you can then copy the code and paste them on any ide of your choice so i'm going to be using remix the online ide for this video and i'm going to be deploying my token contract on the bmb chain testnet so i'm going to walk you through what every option here means and how to use it so you can understand exactly what you are doing when building token with this tool so as you can see um notice that as we add features by ticking the boxes here it imports from open zipline contracts so you can obviously write this code yourself but this is a next level tool if you are not familiar with the open zipline library and solidity and it's also very very good it's also, it's also a very very good way to become familiar with them so let's go guys so the name as you can see here is very straightforward is the name of your token the name you want to give your token so i'm going to be giving mine the chi chain network So it's going to be teacher network token and also as you can see here the symbol symbol is also very straightforward that's the symbol of your token like you can see bmb chain the uh, token name is bmb right and the, the full meaning is build and build so the token abbreviation is bmb so i'm going to be giving mine CTN or CNT better still and you can see that as I update this it dy dynamically updates here the permit here this is how many tokens you want to mint and transfer to the deployer of the contract when it's deployed so I'm going to be, I'm going to say my own is going to be 10,000 Mint table here, this has this function called mint, which calls the same private mint function we can see here on the constructor. Burnable, this is an opposite of mint table. It allows token holders to burn their token. So permit right here allows the holder of a token to give access to this token on their wallet to a third party. For a specific period of time as the name as the name implies permits vote here allows delegating voting for a non-chain government flash meeting simply allows borrowing token in flash loans which don't require collateral as long as they are returned in the same transaction so snapshot here simply um, means allowing specific accounts to create snapshots which stores the total token supply at that time as well as the balance of the token in holders addresses so what snapshot does is that it allows specific accounts to create snapshots which stores the total token supply as well as the balance of the token if the holders in the holders address and over here is an owner which by default is the developer of the contract so rules in a nutshell allows role-based access to your functions they allow you to add links um, like this in your function to execute unpermitted roles here is transparency which is easier to implement but requires more gas to deploy ops 
ups um this is this uh, this uses less gas actually but are more complicated to implement and this right here this security email is the email people can use to reach you if they find any security flaws on your contracts so i'm just going to be putting that here And you can see that when I typed it, it appeared right here. It just adds a comment here. So this is automatically the mail people can use to reach you if they found any security flaws on your contract. While this license here, as you can see, if I change it or if I add another letter T, you can see it changes here. This is the license of your, for your contract. Changing this of this the license at the top right here. Now all you have to do is to copy and paste this code on your remix or whatever code editor you're using. So as you can see, I stick to minimable rows and ops. So I'm gonna be copying them so I can paste them on the remix IDE. So here we are on Remix. Let's go to Contract. So we're going to paste our code right in here. So as you can see, our code has been pasted here. So what we need to do now is to deploy this code. But before we do that, I would like us to go to um, Metamax. Let's go to Metamax. As you can see, I've already deployed one, um, this before, something like this before. So when you come to Metamax here, we're already on the BMB Smart Chain Testnet, as you can see. But if you if you want to add a new network, like if you want to add this BMB chain, if you don't have it on your Metamax and you want to add it, you can always come here and click on add a new network manually. So when you click on that, you now go to the Binance.com. To copy the URLs, I guess you can see this is it. This is the URL for it. If you want to come here, I'm going to be pasting this down below the video. So you can always come here and here yeah, where there is testnet, you can now copy the name of the network, which is Smart Chain Testnet. I use BNB Smart Chain on mine. I can copy the URL, copy the chain ID, the symbol, and the block explorer URL and add it to your Metamax. And that's what gives you this BNB Smart, um, Smart Chain Testnet right here. So I'm going to also show you how to get um, test faucets that you can use to test your contracts when you're just building and you want to just test and you're not building. So let's go and get it. So as you can see, we are in BNB Smart Chain Faucets. This is the URL. I want to get here. So you come to your Metamax. Right here, you copy your address and paste it here. Then you come to give me BNB. Click on the you can see funding request accepted for this address. So now my address, my wallet has been funded automatically. So let me, let's go back and check. Yeah, it's done. As you can see, it's added an additional 1,000, 0 0.1 BNB.
before it was just 668 BNB. So as you can see, that's added. So you can always do this. So now that we've I've showed you how to get um, BNB smart chain for sets, and I also showed you how you can connect manually, connect um, the BNB testnet on your Metamax manually. Let's write, let's go back to Remix and deploy our contract. And let me show you how you can deploy this contract. So you can come here and compile your contracts. You click on the compile button. So as you can see, this contract has been compiled right here. So let's like, let's go and deploy this contract. So the environment I'm going to be using injectable provider Metamax. So once I do that, I'll now click on deploy. So when I clicked on the player, as you can see, it popped up Metamax. It popped up Metamax automatically, and it's asking me to connect to Metamax. So I am I've confirmed it. After confirming it, my deployment is ongoing. Yes, we are done deploying. Look at the link address down below here. I don't know if you can see it. This is the address here. So I can copy it. This is the address you can get to when you want them to see your contract, your deployed contract. So and you can see it wrote transaction recorded one. So you have recorded one transaction on this contract. So you can also go back to Metamax and you can see your contracts that you deployed right here. March 26. So when you click on it, you see the full details of your contract. You can also view your um, contract on Block Explorer. When you click on this link, you can see our contract just generated now, one minute ago. So yeah, so this is it. Also copy your address from this place. So guys, if you found the video helpful, I would like you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.